Hey everybody, it's Abby. Today I'm going to be doing a two-part video about stocking stuffers. So go check out my first one, which was stocking stuffers for vegans. So this one is going to be about makeup. So if you have somebody in your life that likes makeup, maybe just getting started with it, or maybe somebody you know that really loves makeup but you don't know what to get them, like maybe they have everything. So I'll show you a couple things that, that would be useful to get for that. So number one, Real Techniques has these mini size of brushes and sponges. I think I have Okay, so I have these here. So they make these little short brushes. Um, they're like kind of travel size and then there's this sponge. Um, I got these and somebody sent them to me because I won like a contest thing on YouTube. So, but basically these would just be great stocking stuffers. Also, they have these little loops on them. So, I know some people like to wrap stuff or like little things and like put them actually in the tree, which I think is a really cute idea. So, you could do that. I mean, you could just hang them like this, or you could even just put a little bit of wrapping paper around the outside. That would be a super cute idea. And makeup lovers can never have too many sponges or brushes. So, those are usually pretty safe. Um, I wouldn't go for like actual makeup, like different colored stuff because you don't know if they have it already or if they don't like that color or whatever. Um, and then also if you wanted to splurge in this area um, of like makeup tools, I would get them a real beauty blender. So I'll put that picture up here if you've never seen one before. But basically those are, they're a little bit more pricey and a lot of people are hesitant to buy them. That's why I usually use these sponges here because they're a lot cheaper. But if they would definitely appreciate a brand new beauty blender. And you can also get them the little beauty blender cleaner. And that would be a great gift. Number two is sheet masks. So those are really small, like kind of flat package about like this big. And you can get a bunch of those at Target. I've seen them at Ulta um, and at Walmart too. Um, if you're wondering about like vegan ones and the cheaper ones, I would go for the Yes2 brand. Um, I know there's also like Skin Iceland that is vegan, but they're a little more pricey, so they're kind of like in the back section of Ulta. And then number three, this one is a little bit more of a splurge one as well, but it is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, Bum Bum Cream, however people say that, I don't know, by Sol de Janeiro. Um, they, I was looking on Sephora's website and they have like mini sizes of it, so the check around, um, Sephora at the checkout has little mini size stuff, and... I would check for the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I'm sure if you go to Sephora and you ask somebody they know because this is insanely popular. I've never tried it myself, but apparently it smells really great. And the brand is cruelty free if you're not, um, you know, if, if you are concerned about that. And they also have like that in a body spray and all kinds of other stuff. So I would, you know, just go to Sephora and ask them about that. It might be too late at this point to try to order stuff. But yeah, they should have it at the store. And then number four, also in that category, um, just the mini sizes from the checkout near Sephora and Ulta. They usually have like the best selling products in mini sizes around there. So like mascaras or um, like powder products and stuff like that. So just check there. And they have like little mini size tools and stuff too. So and at number five, the best thing to get someone I think would be a package of makeup wipes. So, it just depends on how much you want to spend. There's some from a brand called e.l.f. that are like $3-ish. And then there are some from the brand called ES2. Those are all available at Ulta and I believe you can get them at like Walmart, Walgreens and stuff too. Yeah, that's about it for this video. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for makeup lovers, um, stocking stuffers down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already so you can, don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to check out the last video about stocking stuffers for vegans. Those would be great for anybody who is thinking about transitioning into veganism or who already is vegan that you don't know what to get for. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.